Hello Capricorn, welcome to your love reading for mid-July. This is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. Keep in mind that this is a general reading so it may or may not resonate. If it doesn't resonate with you, feel free to check your other placements. What's going on with Capricorn for mid-July when it comes to their love life? Ghosted, snake, intuition, ex-lover. Huh. You are using your abilities here, your intuition, for something. Also, listen to it if it warns you about a snake. Even if you think that, for example, let's say this friend, even if you think that they have your best interest at heart, still question everyone around you. Not saying be paranoid, but like, you know. Some of you may be dealing with a ghosting situation, or you may actually ghost someone. And there's something with an ex lover. Let's see. What are the messages for Capricorn? Judge of character. Karma. Put in work. Aaliyah, try again vibes. I believe Aaliyah is also a Capricorn. Okay. I believe so. The last time I checked, she was a Capricorn. Um, and Karma and not gonna cry chin up chest out you're strong recognize your own worth mary j to the bs do something to make yourself feel better moving on is better than being stuck so i'm getting mixed messages here this ex lover may have judged your character wrong you know you're capricorn so you may not cry in front of people all the time you may know how to keep your emotions in check so this person may be judging you as like a cold person well, they may have done that in the past. That could let you know who this is. But you're getting good karma with Aaliyah. We put in work and try again. It's, it's going to be mixed messages because I see you moving on and knowing your worth. But there's also this try again vibe. So let's see what's really going on here. Okay. Capricorn and the person they're thinking about, what's going on, what are the energies towards each other for mid-July? Okay, could be a Libra or a Scorpio for some of you. This person, um... They may be out to do the right thing now, if that makes sense. Could be an ex who may have realized the wrong that they did. There's this energy of balance and transformation. So they may have, there may be an ex with good intentions, or the person on your mind has good intentions of making something right, or at least making peace or apologizing for what they did. Some of you feel like there's unfinished business between you and someone, but you also, this relationship may have also made you feel unfulfilled or unstable. This person in the past, maybe in the past they didn't like meet your needs, meet your expectations, make you feel stable in the connection. Could be a Leo for some of you. Why do I get this? This is a mixed message. I keep, th I mean, the Eight of Cups in reverse, someone returning. And it's this King of Wands. If you're dealing with like an Aries Leo, Aries Leo Sagittarius, most likely they're returning. They're wanting to try again. It could be that you're both not on the same page. It could be that this person is, is wanting to try again and put in work, but you're wanting to know your worth and move on. So I'm seeing these two different messages. This person's next move, they're gonna feel stuck if you're not willing to move forward with them. They're also gonna like hold on to that dream of making things work with you but feeling stuck at the same time because they're not receiving. Um, they're not receiving the response they had hoped from you. Near future energy. 
So when you are not seeing a future with someone, I see you standing still, not working things out, not seeing a future with someone. So there's gonna be communication, but it's like you're you're not seeing well you're not allowing it back in. And they really want you to, but you're not budging, is what I'm seeing. This could also be how you feel about a fake friend that you're not, that they, a fake friend maybe try to apologize to you, but you know they're fake, so you're just not even budging, not giving them another chance. Let me look at your main spread for mid July. Or you may think the person you're dealing with is a snake. You may take it as them being nice now. You may feel like, okay, they're being fake. But let's see, what's going on with Capricorn when it comes to love? Mid-July. Mid-month July messages. Capricorn. You're releasing your emotions for this person. You may have been carrying feelings for this person for a long time. And you're trying to see a future for yourself that is full of, you know, happiness. And you may not see that with this person because you may not have felt fulfilled with them. You got the queen of wands here, but you're seeing your person as the king of wands in reverse. So that's like, okay, I'm in this energy with this person is just not on the same page as me. You may feel like they're more egotistic, more full of themselves, operating from the ego and can become cocky, arrogant. And you're trying to just, you know, elevate, move forward, be your best self. So you may feel like this person isn't matching you anymore, but they're still very much attracted to you. And they're seeing, the, they're seeing you as the magician in reverse. So they could think that you're a snake, maybe because you're not responding the way they had hoped. They're feeling rejected. Ace of Swords in reverse. You guys are not seeing eye to eye here. Why the Empress? Why is this person feeling the Empress? They may come and be honest with you about how they feel. They may genuinely feel feelings for you but this maybe it's just too late maybe when you had feelings for them they were in this they were cocky they were full of themselves ignoring you and now they're gonna taste their own medicine why the ten of wands yeah you're freeing yourself from that nine of swords energy you want peace You want peace in your life. Why the Ace of Swords in reverse? Yeah, they're feeling like you're ignoring their messages, they're reaching out, but they're not getting response right away in the near future. They're, they could be seeing you as a star or feeling like you may be too good for them now, or you've reached some success and they feel like, I'm sorry about that noise, it sounds like someone's bike. They may be feeling like you're unreachable. Could be dealing with an Aquarius or Leo, Libra, Aries, Sagittarius. Why the Two of Swords? Okay. I feel like you're just wanting to heal. That's why you're not really seeing eye to eye with this person. You're seeing this as something that could cause you to go back to square one, cause you to be hurt again. 
and they're not understanding that that's how you see it. They think that you should just give them a chance. But they may have ghosted you in the past. Why the nine of cups in reverse? You're, you're moving on. You may cause this person a lot of disappointment by rejecting their offer. But some of you may even meet new love and move on. Or you may even, you may, you, like they may still continue to offer you this cup even when you reject it, but you're just going further and further away from them and they're more and more disappointed. There's just no reconciliation. I mean, let me see why they're viewing you as the magician in reverse. Why they think Capricorn is the magician in reverse? They may think that you're fronting as if you're over them. Could be dealing with the Aries. They may be seeing you as your past self. They could also feel left behind. That you just went and elevated yourself and healed and left them behind type of energy like seeing you as saving yourself <laughs> and forgetting about them but let's see what you don't see coming in the near future there's still gonna be an offer from this person from the past it seems like they don't give up or they keep trying from time to time to see if you've changed your mind they really feel like there's unfinished business here and they're kind of stuck on the past What do we have for Capricorn when it comes to love? Chemistry, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. They're very much attracted, that's why they have the Empress here. It's safe for you to love, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. We have separation. Kind of apart from your partners on the horizon and stay optimistic about your love life. The thing about this is, is it may be safe for you to love them. Maybe safe for you to take them back, but they're still like an egotistical type of person. Like they'll get as soon as like you like they'll humble themselves when they want you back, but as soon as you give them that energy, they're gonna feel like they're all that. The ego will come back. It doesn't mean they'll hurt you again, but the ego will definitely come back. It seems like that's just who they are. And you know, I mean they could be a Leo. And they just need you to um, not reject them. Like they may not be able to let go of the fact that you actually are not accepting their offer. The ego may be pushing them to try again and try again just to get that validation. But some of you are just not giving it to that person. You want to stay optimistic and look to the future. What do we have for Capricorn? Karma, again, karma twice, so this may be their karma, then they're getting ignored the way they ignored you. They're trying to, they're trying to put in work and try again and you're just like, no. So toxic story, new opportunities, past life, knowing, deja vu, past love, so this is an ex. Dating, winning, sorry, not winning. Whining, dining, romance. You could be dating if long distance, far in distance. So they're having to see you move forward, date. While they get ignored like they did you in the past. What's this person's hidden truth when it comes to Capricorn? I hid who I really am from you. I bury myself in work to forget you. I am becoming a better person. Yeah, I believe they are, and I believe that they truly want another chance with you, but I see that you're just not wanting it, or it, it, it could be that, um, it could be that you think about it, but with the optimistic card, staying optimistic about your love life, I feel like you have like a, an image of what could be, like an image of a person you could have, maybe someone, maybe you fantasize about someone who 
fulfills your emotional needs, makes you feel loved, takes you out, and does things that this person doesn't do. You may be holding that vision in your head, and that's what's causing you to like, or motivating you to really move on. And this person is being driven crazy because their offer is being rejected. This person may have been a front. They may have been the snake in the past. They may have been this magician in reverse. They may be pro projecting their own behavior onto you, seeing you as fake or feeling like you're um, hiding your feelings. They, they may be the snake and it may not be like they tried to deceive you, but they may have pretended to be more than they are, pretended to, you know, big themselves up a bit. Why the Ten of Swords? Why is the Ten of Swords blocking the situation? Yeah, it could be the past hurt. It could be that they ghosted you in the past. They left you suddenly, and you may not be able. To, you may not have gotten over that. What they, the pain that they caused you. So that's what's blocking them. Is their past actions? You had to rebuild yourself. Come up out of the hermit mode. You may have spent time in the hermit mode. Had to come up out of it all on your own. And now you're just genuinely seeing what else is out there and they're just seeing you as fronting or playing hard to get because those are the games that they may have played in the past so they're projecting onto you. But they do genuinely still like you, still want you. That's, that's genuine. It's just that they do have an ego. They do start to feel themselves a little bit too much, start to feel like they're too good for you. Once you take them back, they'll start to feel like that way. You're looking to the future, you're looking to see, because you may have already, because some of you may already be dating, you may already have new options, so you see this person in the background trying to get back with you, and you're like, mm, I could go back there, or I could mm, go forward with this person, or even meet another person. It looks like there's nice options out there. So, yeah. They're going to keep trying though, they're going to be disappointed because when it, when, they, when it was time for them to do all this, to put all this effort in, they were not doing it. They were too busy being full of themselves and watching you chase them and now it's reversed. So could be a Libra, could be a Leo, there's Aquarius, there's Libra again. There's Virgo. Those are the main signs. We also have Aries, Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So I hope this was helpful, Capricorn. Feel free to check your other placements to see what else is going on for you. For oh my gosh, the whole deck fell on the floor. See what else is going on for you for the month of well mid month July. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.